Hi guys, here we will be discussing about the LC oscillator type that is Colpitt's oscillator. Now, whenever we will be discussing about the Colpitt's oscillator, the Z1, Z2 and Z3 are in the form of two capacitors and one inductor. Okay, so if you have any confusion in your mind after studying all the types of LC oscillators, what is the how to judge that whether this circuit is culpits, whether this circuit is heartlet? So, I'm just giving you hint that C for culpits and C for capacitor. So, two capacitors with the culpits and heartlet will be discussing later on, but just understand that in heartlet. Hartley H H is nothing but the unit of inductor Henry. So there you have to use two inductors and one capacitor. So in all, in your Colpitt's oscillator, we just have to discuss how the analysis is going to take, take place to find out the frequency of oscillations. This is your general circuit. Now I am filling the Z1, Z2, Z3 with C1, C2, and L. So here I will say this is C1. This is your C2 and this is L. Okay. And this is how I will be developing the Colpitt's oscillator, where you are giving the feedback voltage as Vf over here, and the output voltage will be getting at the collector of the transistor. Okay. So we can replace this BJT by FET as well. Okay, so instead of BJT, you can have FET as well. Okay, so I'm just writing note over here. So, okay, now as far as the frequency of oscillation and the gain fundamental things are considered, just have to calculate by using AC equivalent model. Before that, before then that. We just have to learn that he, in this Colpitt's oscillator, what are the advantages that we are getting, right? In this Colpitt's oscillator, used for negligible because I am taking the parallel combination along with this C2. Okay, so that's why this is negligible. I am writing in bracket very high. Because as I mentioned that if frequency increases, your capacitive reactance will go down. And if I am considering parallel combination of this HFE and this capacitive reactance formed by C2, then I can say that the parallel combination will nearly go towards the value of the capacitive reactance formed by C2 only. So here I am assuming the HIE, RPI or beta RE having negligible. So I am not considering that particular value. So in short, I have to take it as open circuit. Okay, this is the first assumption that I have made, right? Then we have to go for the analysis. Considering the AC equivalent model, I will draw the AC equivalent model. In the AC equivalent model, let us draw the capacitor, inductor, and the another capacitor according to this particular circuit diagram. So this is C1, this is C2, this is L. Okay. So first of all, we will draw the transistor model where I am looking for. This is open circuit I have considered for HIE and uh, beta RE or R pi. So I am saying that this is nothing but Now I can say whatever 
C1, C2 and L I am getting that I am forming. C1 is in between emitter and collector. Okay. So this is nothing but the C1. Secondly, I am getting the C2 is in between the base and the emitter. So base is here and emitter is here. So I am saying that this is nothing but the C2. Naming that this is C1, this is C2. Okay. Considering the fact that capacitor L is connected in between the L in between the collector and the base. So in between the collector and base I will form the inductor. This is the inductor. Okay. And obviously I have to take the resistor resistive load whatever I am considering for that particular circuit that I will treat it as R. Okay, a very simple phenomena, and then I will treat this V pi as this. Okay, this is nothing but the direction of the current. Okay, and this is your inductor. Whatever AC equivalent model I have formed so far is obviously with the ground, and now I will analyze this particular circuit to get the frequency of oscillation. So the heading will be. will say that this is node number A. Okay. So where I will be getting this current, this current, this current and this current. Okay. So let us see that apply KCL at node A. Okay. First current I am getting that is nothing but Gm into V pi. Yeah. Second current is nothing but let us say that this is nothing but the voltage VO. Obviously, if you look at this particular circuit, across this C1, we are getting the VO. So, this is nothing but the VO. So, we will say that VO divided by R is nothing but the current flowing through the resistance R. VO divided by, in the frequency form, I will be getting 1 upon S C1. So, I will write this here, VO divided by S C1 okay. Similarly, VO divided by the series combination of L and C2 that I'll have to divide and treat it as a, a reactance total reactance. So, VO divided by S L plus 1 upon S C2. So here I have to consider that it's nothing but 1 upon S C1, okay, is equal to 0. Now we also know that what is the value of V pi. So we will write this as by VDR, V pi is equal to, what is V pi? V pi is nothing but 1 upon S C2 divided by 1 upon S C2 plus S L into the total voltage that is VO. So we'll treat this as equation number one. This is as equation, this as equation number two. And then what we'll have to do? We'll just have to put this value of V pi over here so that everything will be in the form of VO. Now start your work. Do the conversion of V pi into this particular form, put two in one, and then Try to get that VO common and remaining particular bracket separate and equate it to zero.
that's a simple understanding vo cannot be equal to zero so i have only one option to get the sustained oscillation back this complete equation i have to equate it to zero if this gets fulfilled then i can say that yes i will get the sustained oscillations so what i will do vo cannot be equal to zero so i'll just have to equate this particular bracket equal to zero so we'll do the mathematical analysis what i'll have to do just do the mathematical analysis put s is equal to j omega and we'll get real and imaginary part equate real part at equal to zero equate imaginary part to zero and then whatever we'll be getting that is that will be nothing but in the form of gain and the frequency of oscillations so here is the derivation now Now what we'll have to do we just have to take the imaginary part together and real part together equate both to zero and from one we'll be getting the frequency of oscillation from another we'll be getting the gain parameter right so we'll start working on that this is j so this is imaginary term this is also imaginary term and this as well imaginary term okay so we'll try to get that particular things together equate it to zero so let's see how we'll be getting j r j r and j r will get cancelled and uh, omega omega and omega will get cancelled and i can say that i will take this things common j omega r in bracket whatever i will be getting j omega r then this will be c1 minus this j 1 omega and 1 r will get cancelled so minus omega square l c1 c2 okay this j omega r will get cancelled and this will become plus c2 this is equal to zero now this is happens at omega is equal to omega zero that is nothing but the frequency of oscillation right this has happened only when the frequency of oscillation so i can say that i will equate it to real and imaginary part and at the imaginary this this will not be equal to zero you can say that as j omega r cannot be equal to zero and i can say that remaining part should be equal to zero so we'll say that at omega is equal to omega 0 we will be getting that omega 0 square l c1 c2 is equal to c1 plus c2 okay so whatever i will be getting that is nothing but omega 0 square is equal to c1 plus c2 divided by l into c1 c2 don't you think that if I take C1 plus C2 as a denominator of the denominator, I will be getting C1 C2 divided by C1 plus C2. That is nothing but the 
series combination of the capacitor right so series is equivalent of the capacitor i can say that this is nothing but omega 0 square is equal to 1 upon l into c equivalent where c equivalent is nothing but c1 c2 divided by c1 plus c2 in my complete circuit of the Colpitt's oscillator, C1 and C2 are there looking like in series combination without, uh, without feedback circuit. So I can say this is nothing but the series combination and whatever I will be getting that is nothing but the omega zero square and from there I will be getting the frequency of oscillation. So final answer of this frequency of oscillation is nothing but 1 upon under root of L into C equivalent where C equivalent is equal to C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2. Okay, so this is nothing but the frequency of oscillation in radian per second, and ultimately we will be getting the frequency of oscillation in hertz that is 2 pi under root of L into C equivalent. Okay, so this is how we have formed the frequency. Now, what we will be doing, this is your finding, first finding right either in radian per second or in hertz right we'll put that particular value in my real part and let's see how we'll be getting the gain parameter now we have reached towards the first finding let's name this as frequency of oscillation for colpitt's oscillator okay Let's move towards the next finding that is how much gain I should require to get that sustained oscillation. As I know that in this complete final equation, I have got real and imaginary part. We have taken the imaginary part first. Let's see that how it will work to get the real part is equal to zero. And furthermore, we'll put the value of omega square at omega is equal to omega zero that we have got in this particular equation, right? So let's see, equating real part of equation to zero, right? We will say that we will be getting gmr plus one minus omega square into l c2 is equal to 0 right we'll put the value we'll say that at omega is equal to omega 0 omega 0 is equal to rather omega 0 square is equal to 1 upon l into we'll put directly as it is c1 c2 divided by c1 plus c2 right Putting this value in this particular omega square, let's see how we'll be getting GMR plus 1. I will take this at the right hand side. This will become uh, L into C2 divided by L C1 C2 divided by C1 plus C2, right? L ne L ko maar diya, C2 ne C2 ko maar diya. I will be getting the value is equal to C1 plus C2 divided by C1 is equal to GMR plus 1. Okay. Let's move to get the value of GM into R. This GM into R is nothing but the gain of that particular amplifier. As we have already studied that in your uh, bypass capacitor circuit, we will be getting GMRD or GMRC. That is nothing but your gain. So GMR will be equal to, let's say GMR plus 1 is equal to, we have got C1 plus C2 divided by C1, okay. I will take this as 1 plus C2 divided by C1 such that I will be getting GMR is equal to 1 a 1 ko maar diya. I will be getting GMR is equal to C2 divided by C1. So this is how I have got the gain parameter i can say that gain a is equal to c2 divided by c1 and this is nothing but another finding from the equation 
of real part equal to to zero. So this is nothing but the gain of culprits oscillator, right? Obviously, it is nothing but the gain at the forward block only, not the feedback block. So feedback block will be having gain exactly ulta of this C2 by C1. So B is nothing but the C2 by C1. So to have sustained oscillation, I will be saying that AB is equal to 1. I have got the value of A is equal to C2 divided by C1. So B is equal to C1 divided by C2 and that will be another finding to have the feedback gain. Okay, so I will choose the value of C1, C2 and C2 and C1 ratio such that it will be having the product equal to 1. So let's have the conclusion for this particular video. We have found out what is the frequency of oscillation for this particular LC circuit where R is not coming into picture of frequency of oscillation. If you, uh, if you look at this particular frequency of oscillation, if you look at this particular frequency, there R is not the part of the frequency. So complete frequency of oscillation depends on the value of L and C. So here we will say that the LC oscillator that is high frequency oscillations sustained oscillation takes place with the arrangement such that C1, C2 in series and L in the parallel with the C1, C2 combination that forms your culprits oscillator. Here we have analyzed the culprits oscillator. Thank you so much for watching this particular video. We will learn more and more EDC along with me along with Ikeda videos. Enjoy till end of EDC lecture. Thank you so much.